My name is Mark Eccles Daffer. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, I've been in China for more than 10 years. I'm the vice principal of the International Division of Sung Ching Ling School. Where I do not like green eggs and ham, I do not like them, Sam I am. I like to be funny, I like to move around a lot. I don't like sitting still for all of that long. So I've, I feel like I'm very active in the class. I like kind of telling jokes and making it fun. Train? There's two different ways of teaching. We're kind of the more Western approach which tends to be a bit more independent and um, kind of driven by the students. And I'm seeing at the school, especially, kind of a, an opening up of kind of some of those ideas and kind of applying some of it to what they do. But I think they're two very different approaches and both have uh, their pros and cons. And when you can have uh, a system see something that's new and take what they like out of it, the good out of it, it makes uh, education even better. I've pushed for a lot of things at the school that they've been, that they've been very willing to open up to, um, kind of expanding our IT and computer program, uh, for getting different computer labs and iPads. Uh, I'm very hands-on when it comes to science, so we've got the school to order a bunch of microscopes and, and things that we can actually use in the classroom um, to get them hands-on with what we're learning and not just reading from a book, but actually getting involved in doing things. Hi! So this is the cafeteria. This is where we eat lunch. Um, it's a great place to sit down with the students and talk to them so they feel a little bit more comfortable rather than being in a classroom. Um, but then I also get to know each oh. of the students that I taught. So it wouldn't just be a group of people, it would be individual students. I would... Did you get to, did you go on the ride? No. We, we have the, where it spins around. Get to know the things that they like yeah, and we, make references to them or during the break time I would talk to them about what they've done. So just, I think you don't have to be funny to get the kids to like you. I think that if you can make a connection with them, if you can show that you genuinely care about them, then they will like you for that. Mr. E is very great. He is not like the other teachers. In recess, he will play with us, and sometimes he will like do a funny dance. A little bit evil? We call Mr. E Dr. Evil. When we talk in the line, he will give us like five minutes, no recess. He was having fun, and um, when we're having fun, we're learning. Honestly, I've never seen another person in the education field with such a positive attitude. He brings a positive attitude with him every single day. No matter what's going on in the school, he shows up in the morning and his number one goal is to just to make this a better place and do better for the students. He always has a smile and he just is bouncy and likes to have a lot of fun and you just feel that you can trust him. Yeah, he's done so much to make me comfortable in China and in Shanghai. He's taught me some Chinese and uh, you know he's really taught me a lot about the culture. Well, I first came to China in 2004. Uh, I was through a study abroad program because we flew in from the airport and it was quite late at night. Um, we were driving to the, the place we were staying at and just seeing the lights in the buildings all over the place. We were on a bus. I was just looking out the window and my hometown has maybe two or three kind of tall buildings and there were just hundreds and they were everywhere. All the lights, I was just really amazed by that. I guess I would just say that I am very happy that I came on the study abroad program. It kind of opened me up to a new, a new way of living, a new, a whole different perspective. To me, when I talk about going home, I think of two places. Like, I'm here, and when I say go home, it means to go see my family in Michigan. But also, when I'm in Michigan, I say I'm gonna go home, it means going back to Shanghai. And I just love being here. So I plan on staying here for quite a while, in Shanghai and at the school. And now with my son in the school, it's. Uh, it's unique for me because I worked here for uh, nine years, and now this is my 10th year at the school, my first year with him here. So kind of seeing him kind of be introduced to the school and seeing everything for the first time, um, to me it's pretty amazing. 